Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the Raze UWP for Xbox dev mode. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the USB setup. So what you will need for this tutorial is the Raze 1.0 22.0 MSIX bundle and also the Raze RAR. If you guys didn't know already, RSR recently ported the Raze engine to UWP and at the moment it has a very clunky menu to select available games. On start, it will ask for a folder to use as a data folder. If none is found, it will use the app data local state folder. Special thanks to Roxo for the extensive testing and modding, along with the whole emulation hub dev and test game. Alright, so first thing you want to do is download this Raze 1.0.22.0 MSIX bundle. I'll have the link for the GitHub down below, and also for the USB folders, if you're in the emulation hub or the Revive Community Discord, you can find it there as well. I bet. So first thing we're going to do is for this raise.rar file. If you have WinRAR or 7-zip, what we're going to do is simply extract it. So what we're going to do is right click on it. I'm going to go to WinRAR and I'm going to go to extract here. So now you should get this raise folder. So what we're going to do is just simply delete the RAR file and then we're just going to simply open it up. All right. So this has all been pre-configured by Roxo himself. The only thing I added was the raise portable.ini file that he created. What this file would do is have all the games pre-configured already because by default some of the controls do work but some of the controls are not mapped so this file is one way to save the time so you don't have to do that yourself and then also it has all the folders for the games that are compatible with the app so if you were to go into it obviously there's no game files included you will need the game files yourself but if you go into it you will have a text file and if you go to open this this will tell you what files from the game that you need to copy into these folders for it to work so shout out to roxo again for this this is big information to those who do not know how to do this so it's like this for every folder for the games so in this video i'm just going to go over just testing out blood so what i'm going to do is go into my blood folder and then now I'm going to look for my blood game. All right, so now that I have my blood game files open, now what I'm going to do is open up this blood files text document again. And then we're just going to drag this to the bottom so we could read it. So it says copy all blood files, blood.ini. So what we're going to do is simply drag the blood ini into the raised blood folder for your USB. And then also the .rff, .art, .dat and dot smk files as well that's almost about all the blood files so i'm just going to simply drag and drop all of these and then once you do that you're pretty much set up for blood and then you would basically do this for every other game as well and i also forgot to mention this earlier but once you're finished with those folders what you can do is simply drag and drop the raised folder onto your usb make sure it is on the root of your usb as well now all we got to do is simply install this into dev mode now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's the authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave our Xbox on this page, I bet. So what we're gonna do is switch over to the PC. We're gonna enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're gonna change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right, now that we're on the computer, what we're gonna do is enter in one of those links. Yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. I bet once we get to the Xbox device portal, underneath my games and apps, simply click on add. And then all you're going to do is simply drag and drop that raise 1.0 22.0 MSIX bundle right into it. Click on next. You shouldn't need any dependencies for this, so just click on start. Then now you can click done. All right, so once that's done, last thing we gotta do is on this left side, go to the file explorer, go into the local app data, look for raise, click on it, go into the local state, 
and then now you see this raised portable.ini file what we're going to do is delete this one go to choose file and then you're going to look for your raised usb folders and open it up and then click on the raised portable.ini file click on open and then simply click upload so now that you uploaded this INI, it has all the games pre-configured for the controls so that they're ready to go once you launch them. All right, so now what we're going to do is simply eject our USB from our computer, plug it into our Xbox, and we're going to open up Raze. All right, bet. So first thing you want to do is press the select button when you go over Raze. Go to View Details. Make sure to change it from an app to a game unless you have that settings by default. And then all we're going to do is simply open up the app. Alright, so if you only had one game added to your folder so far, it should by default already start up the game. But if you have multiple games added to your folders, you should be greeted with a main menu like this. As of right now, it's just a very small list for your games. And then if you also have more than six games installed on your USB folders, you can press B to scroll through the page. What we did earlier is I added my blood file, so I'm just going to go to my blood game. And that's pretty much about it. If you guys need any help, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more videos.